Charter Communications agreed to buy Time Warner Cable for more than $55 billion. I'm joined by Tuna Amobi, Senior Equity Analyst at S&P Capital IQ. Tuna, the combined company would have 23 million customers, second only to Comcast. How does this deal potentially change the competitive landscape within the industry? Well, it does change it quite dramatically. Um, if you factor in um, AT&T's pending acquisition of DirecTV, the combined company would become the number three um, in terms of pay TV market share. Uh, in terms of broadband market share, it would be less than a third of the overall broadband market. So we think that it's going to be very well positioned to compete against the uh, the bigger guys. It's going to be uh, led by Tom Rutledge, who is very well regarded as one of the best operators in, in the industry. Um, so I think overall, we think it kind of illustrates the whole theme of cable consolidation. And for John Malone, back in the company, coming in, and he's been talking about scale for a while, and I think this really culminates um, in what I think the trend has been over the last two to three years. And the deal is valued at $78.7 billion. The hefty price charter is paying, raising some eyebrows. The deal is also said to be largely based upon broadband. So does the broadband customers it's receiving qualify the price? Well, I think in terms of broadband, right, I think you can expect innovation. We think that, you know, the customers are going to uh, enjoy some benefits on the broadband side. They've talked about, you know, um, you know uh, usage-based base pricing, um, you know, Charter having a much more uh, compelling offering for consumers versus Time Warner Cable. And even beyond broadband, on the video side, this new company is going to have much more scale to negotiate, to negotiate over time much better terms for programming, which ultimately we hope will also benefit consumers at, at some point down the road. But ultimately, I think you can expect a lot more innovation, quick time to market, especially on the wireless side as well, which is where you know, the future of the industry is really you know, heading towards there, you know, giving the competition from guys like Netflix and Hulu, et cetera. But now, can we expect the government to approve this deal when it didn't approve Comcast's proposed acquisition of the company? That's a great question that I think is what some investors are hesitant, uh, and you see that in the price action of, of, of Charter today. Um, but, you know, I think this deal has much better chances of being approved. Granted, no one saw the, um, the issues with Comcast and Time Warner. We were obviously expecting the Comcast deal to close, but it quickly became clear that the regulators are much more concerned about the broadband market impact. And as I alluded to earlier, the combined charter will have less than a third. Uh, so in some ways, I think the concerns are significantly less. Having said that, there's always going to be that regulatory uncertainty until we know what the, uh, the, the regulators are thinking. All right. Thank you so much to No Moby, Senior Equity Analyst at S&P Capital IQ. Thank you for having me. And I'm Brittany Umar for The Street.